what up y'all welcome back to my channel girl ltz back today with another mcbang so y'all today's video is going to be late let me tell y'all first off let me show y'all what i have so today we have mediterranean y'all i have no idea what this is um i don't know it has chicken some uh rice at the bottom i think those are chickpeas can y'all see yeah, chickpeas, rice, some red and white sauce, a side salad or greens. And yeah, that's it. I didn't get anything to drink because I planned on eating this on camera, but that didn't happen because I'm hungry and I'm gonna tell y'all why. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Also, give me a big old thumbs up for this video and turn on your post notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a video. We're gonna get into a prayer, a thumbnail, and we're gonna dig in and then we're gonna get into the conversation because I gotta tell y'all what happened to me today. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. The hands are prepared and the finances are precious. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen, amen. All right, y'all, so we're gonna dig in. Okay, so let's, let's, uh mix it up a little bit y'all supposed to be spicy but we gonna see here y'all want the first bite there's chickpeas chicken y'all i'm making it up and rice i don't i honestly don't know mm. it's gucci it just needs some um some salt and a little pepper. It's not spicy. It's not sweet. It's in between, I guess you can say. Mm. It's okay. It's not bad. Oh, wow. So all of this is rice. Oop, I don't know if y'all can see. And then the top, like this this little part here is just the top portion. It's not a full salad like I thought. Mmm. Mmm. But y'all mix it in with that salad? That is bomb. I just need a little sound pepper. That's all. A little sound pepper. Woo. Something was a little, a little spicy. Woo. I think I ate a pepper. I don't got nothing to drink. That's all right. So, I'm going to eat a little bit. Then we're going to talk about what happened to me today. It's saucy though. It's real saucy. I wish I can see it without it being such a. If y'all can see it, can y'all see it? That's how it looks. Okay. So, let's talk about what happened today. Mm. This in with a salad. Oh my god, it's good. Okay, so anywho, y'all know how I said I was gonna be doing um celebrate, not celebrating, <laughs> supporting black-owned businesses this week. Now, yesterday I didn't get a chance to. So I cook, you know what I'm saying? That was the black-owned business for Monday, myself. 
Today, I wanted to do a Taco Tuesday. Now, everybody is raving about the little fried tacos mm -mm. with the sauce, right? You know, fries, chicken, beef, pork, whatever. Fried tacos. And you're supposed to dip it in this little taco broth that they make. It's like cilantro, onions, and whatever else the sauce actually is, right? So I said, I'm going to do that today. So on Facebook, there's, there's, um, whatchamacallit, <clears throat> there, on Facebook, <clears throat> whoo, hot, on Facebook, there's a group, and it's called, like, DFW, Black-Owned Businesses, Restaurants, or something like that. So all I did was go to the page. And I typed in those tacos. The name of them is like Berea, Berea, Berea. I don't know. It starts with a B though. So this business pops up. There's a few of them, but one pops up that's close to me. So I'm saying, okay, I'm gonna go to this one. So they were like. On the post, it says everything. It gives you a description. What's on the menu. Um, it doesn't give the price, but it has, like, delivery fee. I mean, no. Delivery is available, but there's a fee, and it's $8. Oh, oh no. I'm just going to pick it up. So, I take that back. I said I was going to get it delivered. And they said it started at 4 o'clock. So, I said I was going to get it delivered, so I was going to wait until 4 o'clock. But then I had realized how much the delivery fee was. And I was like, I'll just go get it. So once I got off work, I called them. I'm calling them at 504, y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. 504, I called them. He answered, it's a guy that answered the phone. And he said their name. And I was like, yes. This is such and such. Um... I came across your post on Facebook, and I wanted to put it in order. Mm -mm. She said, okay, great. She said, um, so this is what's on the menu today. And he named everything that was on the menu. I said, oh, okay, cool, that sounds good. I wanted to do the tacos. And he was like, okay, that's three tacos. It comes with the elotes and... What he said, and the sauce. He said, You want beef or chicken? I said, Um, can I take beef? And he was like, Okay, no problem. He said, Will it be pickup delivery or delivery? And while I was in the minute of saying, In the minute, in the middle of saying pickup, he stopped me. And he was like, Oh, wait. We're actually only doing delivery because we're about to head out right now. I said, Oh, okay. How much is delivery? And he was like, $8. I was like, ooh. Even though I already knew, it still shocked me again. And I was like, you know what, in my head, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do it anyways. And support my people. But he said, okay. Um, the plate is $10 and delivery is 8 so that'll be 8 in total. Now, my mind... Oh my god, eighteen dollars for three tacos? Three. <laughs> and I kept saying, you know what I can do with twenty dollars? You know what I can do with with that? Da -da -da -da. That's a whole nother meal. But then I snapped back into reality and I was like, you know what? I'm supporting my people. I really don't care. And twenty dollars gonna get spent one of these days. It might as well be spent right now on this food and support my sister. So, I was like, okay. He said, so, um, I'll just need your address. I said, okay, that's fine. Some told me not to give them my, my apartment number, or, I'm sorry, my apartment building number. Because I was going to come out anyways. So, I just, um, I went with my gut, 
and I told him the address, but I didn't give him a building number or anything like that. Okay, cool. Y'all, 504, remember that. So, he before he got the phone, he was like, oh, that'll be, um... And then I heard somebody in the background say something, and he was like, 20 to 30 minutes. I said, oh, 20 to 30 minutes, y'all be here? He was like, yeah, 20, 30, just give us 20 to 30 minutes, and we'll be there. I said, okay, no problem. So, 20 to 30 minutes, by the time we got the phone... I gave him five ten, so we start the start. The start time is five ten. I said, okay, so he should be here by five thirty, five forty. But you know what? It's Dallas. They are doing deliveries. People don't, you know, people be having folks waiting, um, and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna get them to six o'clock. Six o'clock roll around. Nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six o'clock. I haven't heard anything from nobody. Ain't nobody sent me no text. No phone call. No nothing. So at that point in my mind, I'm like, okay. So I gotta figure out what else to eat. Cause at this point, they're not coming. So, in the meantime, I'm thinking, I'm like, dog, but they really didn't say nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a first-time customer. I'm your customer, period. And you haven't communicated anything with me. I understand that you're out and about. It's Dallas, traffic here, accidents there. Like, I, I understand. All you got to do is tell me, communicate. I ended up calling my homegirl, and she actually went to them like a week ago or something like that. And she told me about them as well. So, she, I'm talking to her and telling her. She was like, wait, what? She was like, what time did you call? I was like, girl, I called them at 5 4. And it's 7 o'clock. She said, girl, you want me to text them? I said, no, nah, you don't even got to do all that. Like, because they're not getting my business. No matter what happens or what they say, they're not getting my business because they didn't communicate with me. And she just was not for it. So she texted him. She texted the little girl. And the girl texts her back immediately, y'all. I promise y'all. My hunger press sent or send. And the girl literally opened it right then and there, read it and responded. And was like, uh, my homegirl was like, yeah, such and such came to you. And I, I, I told them about you. And they said that they ordered from you two hours ago and you ain't said nothing or anything like that. Like, what's going on? She immediately responded and was like, oh, we got, we're, we got super busy and we're backed up and um, if she still wants it, we can be, we can be at her house in 15 minutes. I said, she said, what? <laughs> she said all that? Like, all of that? Like, you didn't add anything in that? She said those words. She was like, yeah. I said, you gotta be kidding me. And she didn't respond. <laughs> and then the girl ended up responding again like two minutes later and was like, we just been super busy. Like we just got so, so, so busy and we wasn't expecting it or something like that. And my homegirl was like, do you want me to, you know, text her back and see if she'll just give it to you or something for the inconvenience, da 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 I'll give you a discount. I was like, no. I don't want any of that. Um, I don't want to, I don't care if it's a dollar. Like, I'm not giving her my money at all because she couldn't communicate with me. All you had to do was communicate. That would have been perfectly fine. If you sat there and told me that y'all got super, super busy and you weren't expecting it, and y'all just got so behind, but you're still on the way, 15 minutes, da 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 woo -da -woo -da -woo. That would have been fine. Y'all, I would have been fine with that. The thing is, like, you're an upcoming business. Like, you're not used to this. You're not used to this traffic that you're getting right now because of the Facebook group, etc. That's cool. I don't mind waiting. But it's the fact that you did not say anything to me. You didn't text. You didn't call. And you responded and immediately knew who she was talking about. 
you didn't have to look at your order, your paper. You didn't have to think about it. Like, you knew what area I was in because you said 15 minutes. And it's just like, yo, why couldn't you say what you said to her to me? I'm your customer. I'm buying from you today, not her. That's all you got to do. That's it. And we would have been fine. And I would have been eating her food right now and leaving a bomb review. I'm not going to leave a bad review or anything like that. Again, it happens. Like, this this Facebook group that they got going, like, that's helping folks out, you know? And a lot of people in that group are not used to this kind of traffic. So, it's very understandable. But, little baby, all you had to do was talk to me. All you had to do was shoot me a text. And none of this would be going on right now. And you would have still got my money. I would have still paid for everything in full. If you just would have said something. That's it. That is it. Mm. Yeah, I killed it. I was hungry. And that's another thing. Like, that's food. Like, I'm ordering food. Not no bracelet, no glasses or anything. I'm ordering food. I'm hungry. And you ain't saying nothing. Like, nothing. And still, it's 810. She still ain't said nothing. No apologies, no nothing. You have my whole order in your car right now. <laughs> now, I would have been mad. This is why I'm really not mad. I didn't pay ahead. And then, when that happened, something told me, like, something not going to go right. Because you're going to secure that spot or that plate. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to drive all around around town for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because anybody, like, for instance, me. Like, what if they would have showed up on time and they called me or they text me like, okay, we're outside and I didn't respond or I blocked them. Like, that was a waste of gas, a waste of time and money lost for them. You know what I'm saying? So, usually people require a deposit so they know either way, like, even if you do dip on me, I still got a profit from you. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, you live and you learn. I'm not going to stop supporting my people. I'm still going to support. It's just... I may I may say something to her just so she knows, like, you know, to be aware. It's a learning experience. Just communicate and let your customer know that you're going to be late. You know what I'm saying? If you out delivering. But yeah, y'all. That's what happened to me today. That's why the video going to be so late. <laughs> Cause I had to figure something else out. This was, it was all right, y'all. It really didn't have any seasoning. I'm like, I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> I ain't gonna front and say something good and it's not. And it had no seasoning. It wasn't spicy. The best part was the salad. <clears throat> so, yeah. But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Cause so I can get this, this video edited and sent on out to to y'all you know what i'm saying so give me a big old thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed it if you didn't enjoy it don't give me a thumbs down just move on to the next video also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and turn your post notification bell so you'll be notified when i drop a video i will see y'all in tomorrow's video i am out this is day six of 30 deuces